creating your day in a positive way, drawing, painting, and enjoying every day. It all begins with that. Hello and welcome to Life with Art. Today we're going to be thinking about spring. And one of the one of my favorite things to do during springtime when it's nice and windy is to take out some kites and fly kites. So I thought today we could do a scene of some beautiful kites. I'm going to start with my name at the bottom. And then um, the scene, we not we need to think about kites that are close toward like coming towards us and then kites that are further away and that changes the size of the kites depending on if they're close to us or, or further away so if a kite is close it's going to be bigger in size and if it's further away it's going to get smaller and higher on our paper so let's start with a kite that might be really close to us and let's put it down towards this bottom part of our paper we know that it's a a diamond shape so I'm going to start with a diamond shape for my kite right there then maybe your kite has a tail on it so I'm going to do two triangles attached and then the line of the kite would be coming down we don't necessarily have to see that because these are kites that are in the sky I'm going to do um, I can design my kite now so I can put the crossbar there's a crossbar that normally has the kite is really sturdy that way and then the string can attach to the center but around that crossbar there might be different designs on our kite so I can just design the kite however I want to this is a part that you don't necessarily have to follow my design you can create anything you want on your kite maybe flowers or a robot or an animal whatever you want to do on your kite so here's my first kite. I think I'll do another kite over here. This kite is similar in size, but since it's a little further, it is gonna be a little bit smaller. So then I'll continue to make different parts of my kite. Maybe this is a, a tail I wanna put on it. It's kinda of swirling around, and then the string, and then the structure of the kite, and then Again, my designs. Maybe I want this one to have a, a pretty heart on it that I'm going to decorate. Okay, so here's two kites. Now let's pretend there's some kites flying way off in the distance. Those would be smaller and up here. So I'm going to do a smaller triangle with a tail. Um, and then the line of the kite might be coming way down here the crossbar and again the design I think this one's gonna have some neat circles on it and then finally way over here going off my page is one more kite the line it's this kites overlapping the line and then I could design this kite as well this has just kind of some shapes on it so I'd like you to do a minimum of four kites I have four kites now, so I'm going to stop. But the last thing I think I am also going to do is put some clouds in my sky to make it interesting. And you can also overlap those clouds together or put the kite in front of the clouds. Remember, we learn about overlapping. And that's going to make your picture so much more interesting to look at. And as an artist, our main goal is to make a really neat, interesting looking picture that everyone's gonna want to look at and see, right? So here is um, an example of four kites flying in the sky during springtime with different kind of designs. And I can't wait to see what you have, um, you are going to create. And then you get to color it all in and make a beautiful spring picture for yourself. Hope you enjoy and can't wait to see what you get done for your kite picture. Have a great time.